Welcome to the Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. For over 10 years, Dan has been helping AM1160 listeners. With so many companies to choose from and hundreds of loan options, the mortgage process can be confusing and costly. Be sure to listen each day for Dan and learn the difference between FHA, VA, and conventional loans. You'll also learn how to negotiate lower interest rates and fees, as well as steps to buying your first home and whether refinancing makes sense. Stay tuned to find out why Chicago's top realtors are choosing Dan Frio. Welcome to the Mortgage Update with Dan Frio, and I, of course, am Dan Frio. Today, we're reaching out to realtors or those who want to be realtors or those who want to really succeed in the real estate market. Um, I am Dan Frio. The best way to get a hold of me is I got an 800 number now, and I'll give that out. It's pretty simple. It's 844-775-LOAN. 844-775-LOAN. Here's what happened to me in the past week or two. Um, I, I'm, I, I do the radio show in Chicago, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for listening. And I'm on AM 1160 and soon to be AM 560 in Chicago. And I get a lot of traction in the Chicagoland area uh, from the shows. And I've been doing this for about 10, 11, 12 years or so on the, on the radio. And I've been in the mortgage business for over 30 years. But I'm taking the show and we're actually putting it on to all kind of platforms. We have it on YouTube. We have it on Spotify. We have it on iTunes and probably about 20 other podcasting systems. So what's happening is I'm getting a lot of traction from all over the country. So I'm getting loans in Florida, California, Texas, New York, uh, Maryland, Ohio, Pennsylvania, all over the place. So here's the problem I have. And it's, I guess it's a good problem to have is most of these clients are reaching out and they need pre-approved. And so they're asking, they're not only for the pre-approval, but they want a team. They want a team to get them to the next level, meaning they get pre-approved. Then what do they have to do? Well, they have to find a home. How do they do that? A realtor. Then what do they do? Well, they have a home inspection. Who through who? Where do you find that person? Then they need legal counsel. Where do they where do they find that pe- person? Most of the most of the people don't know. If you're not in the business and it's a you know it's your first house, you don't have all your ducks in a row. So what I'm doing is I'm reaching out to a lot of realtors. all over the country and saying, are you happy where you are today? If you are, God bless you. If you're not and you want to expand your business, I can help and we can become a team together. So I, I just Googled for some reason, I Googled becoming a successful real estate agent. And it intrigued me. I, I'm going down through, you know, what you need to do or what the person should be doing to become a top agent. And here's the problem I, I have. And I'll, I'll do this and then we'll go through that questionnaire. I reach out to a lot of realtors that I have throughout the country or on contracts that I'm getting throughout the country and asking them, you know, what, would you like to partner in your area with me? And, you know, help to expand your market and and as well as helping my clients that are following me on YouTube and Twitter and Spotify and iTunes and all these other places. It's amazing to me that I'm offering certain things for free. And the agents come back and say, nah, you know, no thanks. You know, I already, my my broker, realtor, we already do things like that. Well, if you're closing, you know, basically a deal a day, you, you can't handle anymore. I get it, but if you're struggling and you're closing one deal a month or two deals a month, what if I came out and said, you know, we can help you fill in a lot of these gaps to make you or put you to the next level. So let's, let's basically, let's go through uh, becoming a successful real estate agent. And I just Googled it, just Google it. And it was like the second or third one down. I'm going to go through each one of these, these steps. I'm not making it up. It's just Google it. And you can find out yourself. Let's go through each one of these and, and answer. And then you say, am I doing that? Am I set up with that? You know, do I have that? Do I, ha- you know, am I able to do that? Let's find you. You have to have some holes in your business. I have people approach me all the time saying, hey, would you, would you like to do this seminar with me? Uh, this and that. I do a ton of seminars. I do a, a radio shows. I do podcasts. I do YouTube videos. I'm still going to do that or take 
take, you know, partner with them. And I always say, plant seeds, plant as many seeds as you can anywhere, everywhere, especially if it's no cost to you other than possibly time. Okay. So let's go through, let's go through this website. Actually the the website, and I'm, I'm not a part of this at all or anything is the balances mb.com or the balance balances mb.com, whatever that is. Okay. So the first thing is have a backup income source. So this is probably good for kind of any sales business is you either need a, you know, uh, a substantial savings account or at least a side business or side job to help supplement you. Because even if you go out day one and you get you after your license and you get someone under contract, it's probably not closing for 30 to 60 days. So you're going to have one or two months of no income, zero. Okay. So that's for newbies. If you're, you're already established and you're closing some deals, you know, you might not need that, that backup income, but a lot of you are probably, you know, looking right now saying, ah, yeah, I, I, I wish I would have done that when I first got into the business or I still need to do that. Um, okay. So that's one. And I'm, you, you decide what you want to do on that. The next step is it states exactly get a mentor or choose a broker with good training. Okay. Even professionals, professional baseball players, they have batting coaches. They have pitching coaches. They have fielding coaches. They have first base coaches that tell you when to run and when not to run. These are professionals making millions and millions and millions, and they still have coaches. So let's say, for example, you work at one of the big companies and you say, you know what? We have our own on staff trainer. Okay. Awesome. Good for you. How about if we stepped in and said, you know what? We can, we can have a secondary training for you at no cost to you. No cost. It's a, it's another perspective of what you might be able to get or able be able to find. It's like, for example, every, you know, every class you go to in school, you have a different teacher. Those people have their own weaknesses, their strengths, Um, you know, so you're going to pick up, you know, the strengths, hopefully you probably are going to pick up the weaknesses. So I wonder if we now add another layer of training and now you have another person's weakness and strengths. So hopefully the strengths from both of those you pick up and it can kind of avoid a little bit of the, the downfalls. Okay. So that's, you know, so even if you have train, if you don't have training, you very much should. If you do have training, you might think that your trainer is the most awesome, best, 100% qualified trainer in the world. Could be. We all have our deficiencies at something. So what is that person's deficiencies? It might be, you know, cold calling. It might be, what do you do at open houses? It might be, I'm a proponent as, as a realtor, you should know the mortgage programs. You at least the basics of things. Cause I get in, in debates with realtors all the time saying they don't debt ratio. Well, wonder if the uh, seller pitches in, you know, $2,000 in closing costs, they don't debt ratio, meaning they don't budget unless you bring down the house price, you know, substantially, it doesn't work. You know, $2,000 in closing cost credits isn't going to make or break that deal. So that's, you know, those are things that I'm a very, very much of a proponent of. Okay, so training, especially if if even if you have to pay for it, I would always suggest the more training you have, the better. You can't sell what you don't know. I, I did a presentation one time with a whole group of people and it was a sales presentation. And my my concern was the people that I was speaking with weren't trained enough on the products that they were selling. So, and the managers think they're just, you know, they're, they're the greatest thing since sliced bread. You know, they, they pound these people to go out and sell, 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 sell. So I kind of turned it around a little bit. I got a plastic or a, a paper bag, a brown paper bag, and I put something in it that jiggled. And I presented the managers with that bag and they passed it all the way up and down the table. And I said, go ahead and just, just, you can't open it, but just do whatever else you need to do to, to try to figure out what's inside. 
They did. They pass it up and down and up and down. Okay, cool. And then I said, okay, now sell me the item that's in that bag. Sell it to me and get the, the, the highest price you can. And they're all sitting there. They're like, mm, they, they, they didn't even know where to start. Okay, that's my point. If you don't know what you're selling, how are you going to sell it? It was crazy how everybody's eyes just opened up and they're like, and I think some of them got it. Some of them got a little ticked off at me because they're like, oh, you know, you're, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, picking on them. But the point was, if you're salespeople or if you're a salesperson and you don't know the ins and outs of what you're selling, it, you're doing yourself a disservice and you're doing your clients a disservice. So, um, you know, that's, that, that's my take on that part of it about training. So when we come back, I'm going to talk about in, in several other areas, you know, how we might learn, try to find leads. What do we do at open houses? You know, all these other pieces or, or functions of this. So again, this is, this show is, you know, if you're listening, I greatly appreciate you listening. Um, you know, some people might not be interested in this. If you're a home buyer, you know, this might not be your cup of tea, but right now this today's show, I want to talk to realtors out there because I need your help. Your clients need your help. There's millions of people out there that need help from somebody qualified and somebody that knows what they're doing. Okay. So that's what we're talking about today. So if you, if you have any interest in, in talking with me, we are going to vet a lot of realtors with this and you could be throughout the whole country. Please let me know. Give me a call at 844-775-LOAN or email me at dfrio which is F-R-I-O at ParksideLending.com. So stay tuned. When we come back, I'm going to have a lot more tips for you, and then uh, we'll conclude it with maybe a hack of the day. Take care. God bless. We'll be back in two minutes. And welcome back to the Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. And I, of course, am Dan Frio. Again, if you'd like to get a hold of me, call 844-775-LOAN. Loan is 5626, just so you know. Um, you can also reach me at D Frio F R I O at Parkside Lending.com. So what we're talking about today is realtors and how kind of seeking or what we can help you with, what I can help you with in regards to um selling more homes, helping out more home buyers, becoming a top realtor in your area. And I, I really don't care where, where in the country you are. I'm in the Chicagoland area. So if you're here, please call me. Please email me. Let me know that you're interested. I'll have somebody get in, in touch with you to set up an appointment. We are going to vet people because I, want, I only want people involved that have a passion for this, not, you know, and, I, and I'll, I'll be blunt and I'm not trying to step on any toes or offend anybody. But if you're looking to sell one house a month and you just freelance at this and you might just, you know, this is just kind of a little side gig to make a little bit of extra spending money, please, that, that's not who we're interested in. We're interested in somebody that wants to, this is a career and they want to move up to the top of the rankings. That's who I want. I want to help you <clears throat> get to that point. Okay, so first we talked about, um, you know, having a backup source of income, you know, secondary income, especially if you're just starting. If you're a realtor and you're struggling, you probably already have a secondary job. Let's get you out of that job. All right, the next thing is good training. And I'm going to talk to you at the end of the program about how, you know, what I'm putting in place to help realtors get to that next level. I will incur the costs, but again, you're going to get vetted. Because I don't want just somebody that's looking to do one or two, two deals a, uh, a month. That's, that's not what we're looking for here. Hopefully your phones are ringing off the hook and you're getting deals a day that you need to hire people instead of struggling to make the, you know, the, the next paycheck. Okay. Building your book of business. That's, that is the business. Building your book of business. The next step is start right with technology and internet. I'm going to loop all that into one. Okay. Your book of business, how you're getting them, what you're doing with them. And then how, let's, let's start by saying, how are we going to find a client or even somebody interested in buying a home all the way to, to the day that they walk out of the closing with a brand new set of keys. 
How are you getting these people? How are you maintaining these people? How you drop? You know, are you? Do you have drip campaigns and set? What is your CRM? What is what's your what's your you know? How do you how do you manage your book of business? So if you don't know what I mean by a CRM, that's a customer retention manager. Um, it, those are things you should know. Okay, if you're in this business, you should know. So let's start talking about some of the things that you should have. Every person you meet or every client that you come across should be put into a database. But how are we getting those clients? You know, are you are you standing at the, you know, the corner of a four-way stop and with a sign in your hand? Hopefully not. Are you attending baseball games and are you attending, you know, company events for other companies? Are you part of the um, your, your city's city council or, or things like that? That helps. But like I said, plant a ton of seeds. So do you have a Facebook ad? If you don't, you should probably look into it. You might say, I don't even know where to start. Okay, exactly. That's that's what I'm what I'm here to talk about. Do you have a YouTube channel? No. Why not? It's free. Do you use in in the Chicagoland area? There's a thing called Patch. Every city has a, what's called a Patch, and it's like a little bulletin board online that people post things. Are you on there? No. It's free. Why not? Are you partnering with any other companies, home home inspectors, you know, home improvement guys, things like that? No. Why not? But the biggest thing is, how do you reach the masses the easiest way to do that? Okay, I reach them by radio and by internet. In internet, I have a YouTube channel with over 6,000 subscribers, over a quarter million views. Um, The radio reaches, I'm on AM 1160 in Chicago. I'm going to be in the next week or two on also, also on AM 560 in Chicago, that listener base is how I plant seeds. I have a LinkedIn account. My YouTube video, I post every day. Every day I post. I post. That I also use a system that goes in and it posts on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and all over in iTunes, Spotify. All this stuff is free. Free. And you're not doing it. Why? That's why you're not succeeding. Whoever's mentoring you or coaching you, if they don't have you doing these things, what are you doing? Okay, so the next thing is now you have a potential, you have have your clients. Now you have an open house. What are you doing with that house? You have a listing. Are you, do you have a website for that listing? Its own individual website. Or is it just buried somewhere on the MLS and or they go to your your, uh, website and there's your 20 houses you got there, but is that house standing out? No? Why? Why? You have an open house. People are coming through all day long. Are you capturing their data? Are you, are you maybe writing it down on something and then just putting it in a database and maybe they get, you know, maybe your newsletter once a month? Why aren't they getting, why aren't you in a drip campaign? Meaning in a day they get an email. In a week they get another email. In two weeks they get another email. They're getting a birthday email. They're getting your newsletter. You need to be on them constantly. If they want to unsubscribe, whatever. But how many people went through your open house? They're looking for a house. What did you do with that data other than write it down and then you followed up with a phone call? And now they're on your newsletter, which they probably get 20 newsletters a, a month. They just look at it. They don't really know who you are. Click gone. You're, you're done. So what are you doing with that data? All of this information, if you're not doing it, you're doing yourself a disservice. So I guess I'll, I'll leave it at that part. Um, the next thing in on plan ahead for challenges getting started. Let's not go through the starting phase uh, because it's, you know, you're, that's, a, that's a whole, that could be a whole show in itself. Okay, so we went through that. That's the website. So now let me, let me tell you what I'm, I'm proposing. Okay. We have, I have on staff a personal real estate trainer, licensed. After vetting, these are some of the things that we want to set you up with. Okay. I'll cover the costs of all this. I, my challenge to you is if you want to take your business to the next level, call. We will put you through training, additional training than the one you already have, if you have it. And if you do, God bless you. 
but what does other training, why would you turn it down if there's all that's in, entailed in that is your time. There's no cost involved in that. Okay. So I will put you through a training course. I will give you your own marketing. What that marketing is con- going to consist of, it's a lot. And I won't even go through all the bells and whistles. But the biggest things are when you have a listing, your listing is going to have its own website just for that home. I will post it all over my social media. You should post it all over your social media. You should send it to your client and have them post it over all their social media. So let's say, for example, in my social media, that link's going out to, there's 2,000 people seeing it. Then they might share it. I ask everybody, you know, please share this. If you know somebody in the, in the area that might be interested in this, share it. So well, let's just say we hit the 2,000 people, okay? Then you send it out or you put it on your website or you send it on all your social media. Let's say you have 1,000. It's 1,000, Okay. Then your client posts it. All their friends are probably 90% of them are local. They work around the area. They live there. The kids on the kids on the baseball team's parents and everybody else. There's another thousand. You just got that listing out to 4,000 people specifically on that home. Where else are you going to get that? Okay. So now you have an open house for that, that house. You have an app that they basically, they'll just, it'll take them two minutes to fill it out. It's going to give you everything about them. Some will want to do it. Some won't, but you're going to capture. So let's say you have 15 people that come in over the weekend. Then the next weekend you have another open house. You got 10. Then the next weekend you have an open house. You got another 10 more. Okay. That's 45 potential clients in within the month. Let's let's extrapolate that out one more, one more week for a whole month. Another 10 people come through just saying 10. You have now 45 clients' data in your system. If you have two open houses, you get 90 new potential clients. You do that month after month after month. How big is your database going to be? Huge. So that's what I'm offering. So I'm kind of running out of time. And, and again, for those that, that tuned in, that, that want to you know, listen about mortgages and the interest rates and what's going on with the Fed and different home buying programs, first time home buyers, stuff like that, uh, tomorrow's show will be about that. But today I wanted to reach out to realtors because I, I, I need teams all over the country to help home buyers that are coming to me that need assistance. So again, if you want to be a part of the team, I, I'll say this, it's probably going to be hard for me to answer the phone on all these. If you would, please shoot me an email. It's D Frio F R I O at parkside lending.com. So D Frio at parkside lending.com. I promise you, I will get back with you and then uh, we will vet you. I'm going to have a, a, a gentleman in my office, give you a call, go through some things with you to make sure you're, you're qualified to do this, do the program. And again, um, God bless you. If you're, if you're only you're part time and, and you kind of just want to freelance a little bit, this isn't that I, I want full time, dedicated people that want to get to the top of the business and to sell, you know, the goal is sell a house a day and it's not unrealistic if you do all these steps. So I hope to hear from you. Um, please, if you, if you're listening to us on the radio, you know, pass the word out. If you know any realtors that, that could be, that, that this could uh, help out. Uh, shoot me an email and, uh, you know, hopefully we can form some partnerships all over the country. So again, my name is Dan Frio, the mortgage update. I'm a mortgage uh, lender in the Chicagoland area, but I can basically do the whole country. And if you want to reach me, it's 844-775-LOAN or D Frio at Parkside Lending. God bless. Hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. You've been listening to The Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. For over 10 years, Dan has been helping AM 1160 listeners. With so many companies to choose from and hundreds of loan options, the mortgage process can be confusing and costly. Be sure to listen each day for Dan and learn the difference between FHA, VA, and conventional loans. You'll also learn how to negotiate lower interest rates and fees, as well as steps to buying your first home and whether refinancing makes sense. 